Okay, along with Newtonian gravity, we can also find the orbital velocity of something going around a planet in a nearly circular orbit. So we look at this uh, 1,200 kilogram satellite, which is above the Earth's surface. And we've already found the radius for that, but let's remind us how we do this. We'll take 6,400 plus the 150, and those are both kilometer values. So we times this by 1,000 and get 6.55 times 10 to the 6 meters. Now, of course, gravity is what's causing the satellite to remain in a circle around the orbit here. So therefore, we know that force gravity is equal to force centripetal. But since we're using Newtonian gravity, force gravity equals g m1 m2 divided by r squared. We want to derive an equation for the orbital velocity for the satellite around the Earth. So I'm going to write it like this. I'll say G capital M little m. And capital M means the mass of the planet here. I'll, I'll put a capital M next to that. And the little m is the mass of the satellite here. And we'll divide that by radius squared. We'll set that equal to force centripetal, which would be m v squared divided by r. So then we notice the masses will cross off. The radius will cross off one of these, and we're left with v squared equals g m over r. But then we'll just take the square root. So v would then equal the square root of g big M divided by R. Let's solve for that in this particular question. So orbital velocity V is equal to square root 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 multiplied by the mass of the Earth 5.98 times 10 to the 24. divided by the radius, 6.55 times 10 to the 6. And then solving for velocity, we do get an answer of 7,800 meters per second.